My scripture reading is taken from the book of John's, uh, the 10th, 10th chapter, the 34th through the 38th verse. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. And that's God with a small g. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Say ye of him, whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thy blasphemeth, because I said I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. And thus is the scripture reading of John's 10th chapter, the 34th through the 38th verse. Once again, good morning and bless you. I just want to bring to your mind, to your consciousness, to your understanding and your knowing. Wherein the scripture states, is it not written in your law? I said ye are gods. Now, this is the Christ speaking through the man Jesus. Or as we would say uh, in the word, Jesus speaking. That ye are gods. Gods with a small g, meaning that you have the power, you are in control, you are the creator of all that transpires in your life and in your environment. It is not looking to the world or to someone else to say that that which has befallen you or that which has come unto you is done or caused by someone else or the things of the world. We have within the power or within us the power to create the good or the ungood that transpires or takes place in our lives. We cannot place blame or should not place blame on someone else or something else for our condition, for our situation, for our joy, for our happiness, or our unhappiness, for whatever comes upon us, we must realize and internalize we are the creators. of our environment. We are the creators of the life that we live, that we have chosen to live, the path that we have chosen to take or to follow. The choices or the choice is that which we have made. And so we should not look out at the world or anyone to say that they are the cause for our failures or our success. For the power of these things are within us. And as Jesus went on to say, if we don't believe in the works that we see others are doing. Believe not the person, but recognize that it is the power of God within, working in and through that or those individuals. We in of, our, we in of ourselves have not the power to do anything. As it is said, it is by the grace and the power of God that is within these physical bodies that we are able 
that we have the power. It is the life of God that permeates every fiber of our being that maintains and sustains us. And so when we turn within and recognize that God is the source of all that there is, the life, the spirit, and the consciousness that is within us is that which is in every man, woman, and child, everything that has life and breath. So who are we to judge or to condemn for everything that there is, is God manifesting and expressing. Now I'm going to step on some toes here. And I just want you to be open have an open mind and understand when we criticize and condemn another and I know that it is said that you know as Moses said or his teachings an eye for an eye and a two for two what you do to me I will do back to you that is not the way. Because what we start to do is to fight fire with fire. And when we try to fight fire with fire, we only create a bigger blaze. The only way to fight fire is to put it out with water. You know, when you see the fire engines going to a fire, they're not going to make a bigger fire. They're going to take the water and put it out. And so that's what we have to do when we come up against the negative and destructive energies of life that is being projected from individuals. The water is the power and the spirit of God within us that extinguish, neutralizes, those negative and destructive energies. And so we must know that when we look out at, us, at our brothers and sisters, we must be very, very careful not to judge or to condemn. Because within those physical bodies, in that within that worldly mind, dwells the spirit and the consciousness of God. We might not, or we do not have to accept their actions. We have to look beyond the appearances of things and recognize that within also is that spirit, that consciousness of God. And so when we unknowingly seek to condemn and judge our fellow man. We are sending forth that condemnation to the spirit and the consciousness within. The God within. And you have heard it said of old many times. What goes around comes around. So if we walk this path of condemnation, criticizing and condemning our fellow man, our brothers and sisters, it must come back to us. It will come back to us. And there's a saying, the chickens have come home to roost. And then we wonder why things have come down upon us. Why is it that we cannot find peace within us? Why is it that we cannot be prosperous and successful in all that we do? And many of us that are on this spiritual path, professing 
You see, we profess with our mouths to know God, to live by the truths of God. We profess it. We profess it. We profess it. But we do not live it from our hearts. We do not live it from our hearts. And so if we do not live it from our hearts, then our words have little meaning. Our words have little meaning. There's another old saying, don't judge a book by its cover. You must open it up and read what is within. We cannot look at the outer appearances of our brothers and sisters and determine the type of person that they are. Now, according to their actions, we can assume according to their actions. You see, we will say one thing and do another. but we must always be able to look beyond the veil and know truth, see truth. For the truth of what a man is will be revealed in his actions. And so we, as children of God, and as I say in my meditation classes, children of the light, angels of light, we have come not to condemn. We have come not to judge, but to bless, to heal, and to uplift. This is the path of righteousness that we all should walk. And we should do all that we can to be grounded and rooted in this consciousness of oneness. Because this consciousness of oneness is within each and every one of us. And we must raise our awareness to a level of understanding. As Jesus said, not my will, but thy will be done in and through me. This is the path and the consciousness that we all should take. Because we know many, many times our will is that which works against us. And I just want to take a minute or two to share this with you if I can. In those early days of my life, the environment that I was born into, the environment that I grew up in, and just before this service this morning, as I always said in meditation before the service, 
And something is always given to me that I write down and I record. But I want to share this with you this morning. It was not my intention. But I want to share these words with you that was given to me this morning just before the service started in my meditation. I was born in the darkness of my mother's womb. I came forth into a world of shadows. As a young child, I lived, moved, in the shadows and seemingly darkness of the world. There was always something within me saying, seek the light. Where was this light? But within me. And thus is that which was given to me this morning. And I say to you, turn within and seek the light that is within you. It is the light of God, the consciousness, the spirit of God. It is the only thing that will lead you out of the darkness, out of the shadows of the world, into and unto the path truth. If you're seeking a better way, a higher way, a blessed way of life, turn within. For the spirit, the consciousness, the power, and the light of God is within you and has always been. And so it is. God bless you and thank you.